But now what we're going to do is we're going to start attacking. Now, what happens if uh, the – did you see the throw? Okay, so uh, the throw from last week – can you open up a little bit? The throw from last week, we worked on a modified sitting tomanan, you guys. I took a step behind. I sit down. I put my foot on the, on the leg, guys. I turn him all the way over, and he's going he's gonna to get thrown. So you're – Go, go slow. I'm not going to try to go anymore. Pretty. So when I sit, it should look something like that. All right? Now, the only reason that happens is because I'm rotating his upper body, and his step just wasn't far, far enough for him to stop the throw. Let's come back, please. So now, we go into the position, and for whatever reason, either I step incorrectly, or he takes a step to stop the throw. So now, if he's here and I pull him, He'll just fall right past his foot. All he has to do is get off balance. And when his head, his upper body, and his hips are past his toes, he has to fall and take that fall. So what happens is that we're in this position here. And now I go for the throw, but either I was too late, he saw it coming, something happened, and he takes a really big step to stop it. So I sit, and I'm going to go for the throw, but he's going to take his step to stop it, now from here, I'm stuck. Can I finish the throw now? No, sir. No. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust myself to, to finish off the takedown, to finish off the sweep. So what I'm going to do is he gave me this leg. I let go of the arm. I get underneath the leg, and I scoot myself right underneath him. Now what I want, I want you guys to see where my feet are. One foot is behind the knee. One foot is in front of the foot. This is my preferred position for my X guard. I know other people, they prefer to have one foot in front of the hip and one underneath the, the knee. But when I do my stand up, this foot usually gets caught up on top of my leg. So I prefer it to be here, right? Now what I want to do is get underneath him as deep as I can. If I'm holding on, I'm holding on. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that now I'm gonna stretch him. So he has to take a fall. Now what I do is this. I try to stretch him, lift his foot, get his foot off the mat, and drive his knee down to the mat. He will post. He will put his hands on the floor and stop me from trying to sweep him, but there's not a whole lot I can do. He can do. I'm sorry. So from here, I'm holding on, holding on to the leg, getting my hooks inside, underneath the, or behind the knee, in front of the foot, and I keep on extending him. Once he extends, I drive him until he sits down. Once he sits down, I come up to one hand, come up to one foot, and I'm gonna start standing up all the way up. So I get up to my knee, and I take him all the way through, and I finish on top of him. If I can get past his hip, I'll end up past his hip, knee on stomach, side mount, wherever I need to be, but I'm already trying to sweep him. Now, let's say this guy, we get to this position, but he's really flexible and has really good balance, and he stays standing up. So now he's not gonna put his hands on the floor. I did the first movement, he takes a really big step. He doesn't allow me, that's fine. I hug underneath the leg, I get to position, I start taking him, he starts standing up, stand up a little bit higher, ready? For whatever reason, he starts going, I'm still gonna take him as far as I can. Don't roll, don't roll, stay on your hands. He gets up onto his hands, he's not letting me. He's trying to stand up, I'm gonna stand up all the way through. He's not gonna let me take him down, that's okay. I stand up. Walk him through, and what do I have here? A takedown. A takedown. I don't have to think about anything else. Step, step, take him all the way down. Walk all the way through. While he's falling, always end up on top. So to me, it doesn't matter whether he rolls right from the, from the beginning of the sweep, and he ends up on his back, or he's sprawling, sprawling, sprawling. I'm still going to lift up his leg and take him all the way through. To me, we're doing the same thing as our basic uh, stand-up and base. From here, hugging the leg, one leg's in front, it goes all the way back. I start standing and I walk them all the way through. All right? Does this make sense or not? Yes, sir. Anybody have any questions? So remember, start off with the throw first. Do you necessarily want that on your bicep or like on your shoulder? Usually on my shoulder, but I can keep control here. Honestly, it, by the time I get to that hook, I should be able to sweep them forward or backwards. And I have a lot of control. As long as his foot's not moving around. But besides that, it doesn't really matter. I, I, I try to keep it up here. No? All right. Uh, try to start with the throw first. That doesn't work. Get into the, into the sweep. Hooks, one behind the knee, one in front of the foot. That's where I want to get. And then from there, extend them. If he rolls, if he puts his shoulder on the mat, 
Still, stand up and face. Walk him all the way through until he gets on his back. Does anybody have any questions? Can you show one more time? Yes. So from here, holding on. I take my step. He takes his step. We get to here. Man, I tried to do the throw. It didn't work. I catch on to the leg. I catch on to here. I start taking him. He stands up. I come up to my hands. Wherever he's at, I'm going to work. Knee, stand up. From here, I can hold on, walk him all the way down to the ground, step around, get on top, whatever has to happen. A lot of it is me controlling that hook, standing back up, and then taking him back down. That make sense or not? Yeah. Anybody have any questions? Let me do it one more time from the other side. So if he points his toe, you just like drag him down? Yeah, I just drag him down. Ready? Hold, take my step. He steps really big. Look at my hook. My hook's behind the knee. I grab behind. Step, and I take him. If for whatever reason I can uh, sweep him and he falls, it doesn't really matter whether he goes on his back backwards or forwards, I still have to stand up in base and then try to get past his leg. Does that make sense or not? Anybody have any questions? One, two, three.